Hello my dear viewers, my name is Johnny M and this is still Honeydew Farms XL, the map, the 4x map that we are playing on. I know you came here for your daily dose of farming simulator gameplay and this is what you'll get. But first I have to tell you that for the last week I've been plugged with a lot of problems first of all youtube refused to uh, process my 4k videos and i had to re-encode uh, some of them and i had to re-upload a bunch of them and then my premiere started to let me down uh, introducing flickering in the videos that you'll probably see in this or a future episode and then my i had problems with my windows and i had to reinstall it once then twice and I'm looking off doing it for the third time because each time I have some problems. Yeah, so it wasn't f very fun for the last days. But nonetheless, uh, when I get, got the chance, I still continue to, to play and to record my videos. So you will get them, uh, don't worry. So now, uh, what we are doing, as you can see, um, in this episode we have uh, two fields to harvest. Uh, I'm not uh, talking about the small ones that we had from the start, it's the uh, medium-sized ones of, of this map. Uh, this one is with wheat and we have the second one, uh, one a little bit uh, smaller with uh, corn. I'm still driving myself my T4 combine and for those who don't know T4 stands for tier 4 which means that this combine has four times the, the normal capacity and four times the speed because I paid for pri four prices for it. And this time <clears throat> I'm feeding directly uh, my harvested grains uh, to my two uh, pixies. That's because I know I'm gonna have enough to fill up uh, the wheat uh, food bar. Sometimes if I uh, you know, know that I won't be able to fill it up, I will um, split the load uh, between uh, uh, my beasties, but this time it's not the case. And usually I do uh, harvest and then I uh, fast forward for, I don't know, three, four, five days until I get um, uh, approximately 500 uh, pigs in each pig's tea. Why 500? Mm, for a number of reasons. First of all, even though my pig's teas are tier 2 and they should sustain up to 600 pigs, for some reason it will never go uh, more than 511 pigs. Uh, and reason 2 is because my truck and my Silver Star animal trailer, as you can see on the left, are tier 5. And this means that uh, the animal, the Silver Star animal trailer can hold two, 200 pigs. So I will, when I have 500 in each pig's tea, I sell uh, 200 of them and I keep the remaining 300, which I continue to feed until I get another 500 pigs. So uh, yeah, this is my, my business plan for now and for the foreseeable future. That's of course outside my uh, dairy business, uh, which uh, in FS19 is not as profitable as it used to be, uh, but I'm still committed uh, to do it. Also, of course, as usual, we'll st we are still waiting for some uh, meat processing uh, plant mod facility, something like Castro Foods or some equivalent which not only will make our will extend our gameplay but will also provide an additional cash flow because uh, usually in fs17 uh, even though on some maps uh, processing the meat uh, was too op i was nerfing it usually down to uh, making uh, 2x the money uh, as opposed to selling directly the animals. So in theory, if I would have to uh, uh, place uh, a meat processing facility on this map, 
I would look for doubling my money uh, in processing the animals, which obviously I cannot do at the moment. As for now, driving this combine myself is still fun and I enjoy it. At some point I will uh, use more intensely uh, helpers, helpers to do it, especially when I'll have more than one combine, or basically be forced to use uh, helpers. But think about this, uh, if I were to buy a second ideal uh, 9T combine, uh, I would have to pay for prices right away and considering the combine itself uh, if you uh, take the upgrade it's, it's something about over 500,000 and when you add up uh, the price for uh, the corn header and the draper header that's something about 800 so times 4 <laughs> it will be more than 3 millions so uh, quite an investment uh, to have a second combine, but of course this will um, at least uh, double the speed of harvesting. Which uh, as of yet wasn't uh, a bottleneck for us. Um, what I was seeing as a bottleneck was getting rid of the weeds, which I don't do anymore. So yeah, I think there is an option to disable them but I'm leaving the weeds so they spawn on my fields uh, crippling my uh, yield but on the other hand I don't need to do uh, the weeds remo removal which uh, takes time and uh, some additional money What is funny is that I basically each and every day I keep seeing these OP mods which are basically just modified uh, standard equipment with higher capacity or higher speed and uh, you know me I don't use them I, I do modify them myself but I do it uh, you know in a fair way with my uh, tier system which I don't know what it will give to you but to me it mainly uh, expands the gameplay because otherwise at some point you have nowhere to expand and if I were to use this standard equipment in order to to conquer the, the entire map with these insane prices of fields uh, like this field is I think 1.2 million and the one that I'm planning to to buy next it's over two millions. So think about it with with standard price prices and with standard uh, standard equipment, it would take ages to uh, conquer the entire map. Even like this, it will take me a lot of episodes. So so yeah, not only it, it extends the gameplay, but it also. Um, Makes it e make it easier and less boring, I should say. Because think about it. Now you're seeing me uh, harvesting at 600% speed, but considering that my combine is already 400%, so four times six, I'm basically now I'm harvesting at 2,400%, so 24x. Uh, the normal speed which I think it's impressive and it's a lot lot faster than it would be otherwise and considering that YouTube you know cripples my uh, the video quality uh, so much I'm inclined more and more to uh, to even decrease my 
play speed to make it 500% uh, on one hand but on the other hand when I have this uh, more than two hours real-time uh, episodes like sometimes two hour and a half two hour and 40 minutes um, at 500% it would be over uh, half an hour which I know for some of you will be cool indeed but I know there are others that would prefer uh, shorter episodes and yes when you increase the speed the replay speed uh, the quality uh, diminishes that's because um, you know video footage on YouTube is of course compressed uh, a lot more compressed than let's say a blu-ray file would be which is also compressed because it's not uh, a lossless format but it's not compressed as much of course I have an option to preserve a little bit more of quality to export my videos in a lossless format but and I've done some tests and it's about 3 gigabytes per minute so think about this this episode uh, would have occupied like 63 gigabytes <laughs> which um, I guess if I were 100% of time at home I could do it it's my upload speed at home is something in on the order of 100 megabits but considering that most of the time I'm on the roads and the internet speeds that I get aren't uh, always uh, that good so no there is no way even, even now my episodes are uh, something on the order of 10 to 12 gigabytes even now it's taking sometimes it's taking a lot of time to upload okay so in the meantime we finished uh, harvesting our second field and it's already uh, almost night forward as fast as we can and we can fast forward at 300x that's because I'm using that I think it's called fast night mods mod which uh, among other things has this option to fast forward uh, 300x now I'm definitely using uh, an auto clicker program to uh, load and unload my pigs because uh, having to press double click 200 times in a row or even press 200 times on the enter key to load or unload your animals would be too much even for me so that's why I'm using uh, this auto click up program which I mentioned earlier um, in this case I just hit F6 and it will double click exactly 201 times for me why 201 because if it would click 200 times then I wouldn't know that I have a full trailer but when it clicks the 200 first time uh, you get this message that your trailer is uh, is filled up so you know at that moment uh, that you have a full trailer Okay, so I uh, will finally get rid of my leaders, which uh, for some reason, if you're trying to sell them at this selling point, uh, you have to repair them fast first, 
because otherwise the selling option uh, isn't available. I assume you can sell them right away uh, in the vehicle store without having to repair them. And of course, do not forget that this, these weeders being at tier 2, so what I did, I uh, uh, I added up the prices that I sell them, them for and then multiplied it by 2, so I added an additional price to my account. That's again, to be, to be fair and honest, with my uh, tier system. Now I will do a little bit of uh, mowing and baling. This time I will do it for uh, silage. And in the meantime some uh, straw loading. Uh, yeah, um, depending on how much silage or hay I have, so I will lean towards, you know, more towards uh, hay or towards silage in making my power food for my cows. As for the straw, as I discovered, straw and water are um, the types of feed that will, uh, the excess of will be lost when you sell uh, some of your animals. So I tend to fill up my water and my straw uh, food bars only after you know selling a batch of batch of animals As for uh, this straw on this field, because I'm limited into my silo capacity, which at tier 2 can hold 1 million liters, uh, what I'm doing, I'm filling up my animal needs for straw, and I'm gonna fill up my silo, and the rest of it I think I'm gonna bail. And in the form of bales, now I will have two options, either to use it later as bedding, because I also have this mod, which allow now to feed up uh, directly uh, bales to your, to your animals. Or the second option, of course, I can add them, at least I can add one bale of straw for each uh, load of uh, mixed food, which I think I'm gonna do. Okay, um, mowing done, so now I'll finish uh, baling and after that I guess up to the end of this episode uh, the only thing that I'll do is uh, wrapping up some bales. Yeah, and this silage bales making is still uh, simpler than it, it is in pure farming where after wrapping up a bale you have to wait a couple of days until uh, it is fermented. Here even though we are FS19 and I think uh, silage bales were introduced hmm, at least in FS15, but, but still the process is fairly uh, simple. Which I guess it's okay, because complicating this game over a certain point will make it too difficult 
<laughs> it's already a fast 19 it's already more difficult than uh, previous uh, games used to be so uh, to some degree it may uh, increase the barrier of um, uh, you know game uh, adoption because we all know that uh, over the last years this uh, game series became more and more popular especially uh, after it went on steam okay so we almost finished so uh, as usual guys thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed the video uh, please do support me by subscribing and maybe leave some comment in the comment section below I hope to see you all next time and of course I wish you all a great day. Bye bye.